What's up, everybody? It's Grim, your YouTube wrestling figures heavyweight champion, coming to you today with my Payback 2015 review. And what a pay per view! I really thought that this was going to be one of those, like, skippable pay-per-views that nothing good was going to happen. It wouldn't even matter if you missed the motherfucking thing. But honest to God, this pay-per-view was good! I enjoyed the shit out of this! And so many people were tweeting me like, No, Grum, this was a terrible pay-per-view. No, Grum, it sucked! And I'm like, if you didn't like this pay-per-view, you don't like wrestling. I mean, now maybe, maybe they said it sucked because they don't like who won. And that's different. It's like, oh no, Rollins won, no, oh no, Cena won, unsubscribe. And you know, if you hate who won, and that's why you think it sucked, fine. But the action was incredible. And I thought that they really nailed the fuck out of it with this pay-per-view. I thought we were going to get paper screwed. Uh-uh. Awesome. They started off the pre-show with a bonus match. Who the fuck knew they were going to have a bonus match? Stardust versus R-Truth. Does anybody care? Uh, I like our truth and I sort of like Stardust, so I was into it. And remember I said in my predictions video that if they added an extra match, who was I picking as the winner? The guy that won. So therefore, I got that one right. <laughs> our truth takes the victory in a decent matchup. But no, honestly, on Twitter, I picked Stardust because everybody asked me and I picked Stardust. Failed it. <laughs> Grim, you're too stupid. But up next, we're going to have the Meta Powers, Axel Mania, and Macho Man Dow take on the Ascension, LOD. And guess what? Axel Mania took my advice and he came out dun, 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 in the red and yellow. He looked exactly like Hogan. I thought it was Hogan for a second trolling us, being like, no, brother, I took out Axel Mania backstage. I'm going to work the match, dude. No, it was really Axel, and he looked just like Hogan. People were pumped. Everybody loved it. And then what happens? They come in, and they lose to the Ascension. Dumb. What the fuck? Why build these two rip-off characters up just to have them lose to guys that you've been burying for the past three months? I don't get it. I'll never understand the booking. But it was a good match. It was very entertaining to watch. And, you know, JBL referenced the huckster in the Nacho Man. <laughs> And he also said that it reminds them of fake Diesel and fake Razor. Hmm, where did you hear that one, JBL? <sighs> so now we're going to get to the pay-per-view. And I want to talk about the main event first because it was off the chain. Everybody was like, the Shield's going to get back together. Grim, the Shield's going to get back together. And I'm like, I don't think they're going to put the Shield back together. And then guess what they did? The Shield got back together for about 30 seconds. <laughs> they trolled the shit out of us, but it was fun, right? They got Randy Orton down on the ground, and all of a sudden, the three members of the Shield are picking Randy Orton up for the triple powerbomb to the announce table. Oh my God. Everybody was pumped. And then Rollins, he sticks his little hand out. And he's like, huh? We're going to join the Shield? And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, we're all going to be the Shield again. And then Roman was like, how about nope? <laughs> And there went that shit. Then all of a sudden, Kane starts beating everybody up like an asshole. And I was like, fuck you, Kane. Get the hell out of here. But then these two grab him for a triple power bomb onto Rollins onto the announce table. Table doesn't break. Table must be named Super Cena. No sells it. The crowd is like, one more time. One more time. Exactly. Do the fucking move again. You botched it. Who cares? Pay botch is underway with another triple power bomb. This time they break the table. Now, we have a lot of back and forth. We have a lot of close pinfalls. People really thought that Dean Ambrose was going to take the title. And then kind of anticlimactically, Seth Rollins wins, pinning Randy Orton with the pedigree. People were pissed. I don't understand why Rollins is using the pedigree. Let him use the curb stomp. We like the curb stomp, or at least that front face thing. At least it's original. He's just going to use Triple H's move. Dumb. But people were so pumped for that triple power bomb. The place lit up. Twitter lit up. And then they were like, nope. <laughs> and then Michael Cole talking about Kane. Kane is so loyal to Triple H. Kane is so loyal to Triple H. I really thought they were foreshadowing the heel turn from Kane. Nope. Right before the main event, they had Barrett versus Neville. And how does this match end? In a cunt out. Yeah, I said cunt out. Not a count out. Because Barrett was being a cunt. What the fuck? They acted like Neville hurt his knee 
I don't know if he really hurt his knee. I hope he didn't really hurt his knee. But then all of a sudden, Barrett gets himself counted out. And then they had more awesome action after the match. Neville hitting the red arrow and all kinds of shit. But Barrett loses. Neville wins by count out. And I'm pretty sure both these two bricks are going to go into the Intercontinental Elimination Chamber match coming up in two weeks. Probably the most forgettable match of the evening was the Divas match. I was peeing. Divas match gotta pee! Divas match gotta pee! No, I really didn't go pee. It actually wasn't too bad of a match. The best part was when Naomi was going for a pin on Nikki and she sat on her and pulled her legs up and you just see nothing but ass. It was fantastic. And like I predicted in my predictions, Naomi and Tamina won. And I don't know why it wasn't a title match. Just give Naomi the Divas title! I guess that's where they're going with it. That's probably what's going to happen at the next paper screw. But until then, we get to witness Tag Team Divas match action. The Bella Twins lose. I don't know. Does anybody care about who won this match or who lost this match? Who the hell knows? They're building up Naomi for the title. This is how they got it done. Okay, now, let's talk about John Cena going against Rusev in the I Quit match. This match was fucking phenomenal up until the end. Then it completely... <laughs> shit the bed. <laughs> and people were pissed. They had all kinds of awesome spots in this match, right? We had John Cena giving Rusev an AA onto the solid steel steps in the ring. We had John Cena giving Rusev an AA into the fucking fireworks. <laughs> shit blew up. We had an epic table botch that they had to reset up again. <laughs> we had Rusev going like this all the time. <laughs> this man's a fucking maniac. I mean, seriously, how much coke does this guy snort before a match? Who the hell is that kind of energy? <laughs> and then his mouth. His mouth opens so big, it's like he can fit four big black dicks in there. He's like, oh. He don't quit. Cena don't quit. Lana was like a non-factor in the entire fucking match. And then, right at the end, Rusev rips off the top rope, and he's trying to beat the shit out of Cena with it. What does Cena do? Completely reverses it. Puts it over his eyes. And he's like, ah, ah. And then he's like, blah, 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 blah. Lana gets all concerned. She's like, oh my God, oh my God. He quits, he quits, he quits. What the fuck? You specifically said the match can't end unless one of the competitors quit. Isn't that the purpose of an I quit match? Not she quits for me match. People were pissed. I was pissed. Not that Cena won. I could give a fuck that he's three and one in this feud, which is dumb. I think Rusev should have won, but that's not the point. The finish fucking sucked and was garbage. And they completely shit on what was a fantastic match. These two guys laid it on the line, tore each other down. The crowd was rightfully chanting this was awesome. Just to get a big dick shoved way up our ass with a filthy fucking finish. Failed it. What a waste. <laughs> you know what else was pretty decent? Ryback going up against Bray Wyatt. Oh, sorry. <laughs> And the match was not a fart, I swear to you. <laughs> God damn it. Now I gotta sit here and review this match with my own fucking fart fumes. Failed it. <laughs> um, Bray Wyatt did like this big flying backflop off of the ropes to the outside, which was crazy. Ryback for the first time ever ripped off RVD with the big frog splash off the top rope. He's got the singlet, now he's got the frog splash. What the fuck is he, RVD with steroids? <laughs> Me, right, but use roids instead of weed. <laughs> but what happens? Bray Wyatt rips off the turnbuckle, like in the 80s, rams right back into it. Oh, hi, baby booster bitch. Let me introduce you to my sister, Abigail. <laughs> Flips him over. One, two, three. Bray Wyatt takes the victory. That's right, baby booster bitch. My sister, Abigail, is going to feed you more losses. Cause I am the new face of queer, gay Wyatt Booth bitch. <laughs> Dolph Ziggler fought Sheamus, and I thought that this match was funny as fuck. You wanna know why? Because I really thought there was gonna be no man-on-man, ass-to-mouth action in this match. Fail! Dolph Ziggler could not wait to use Sheamus' head as toilet paper once again, shoving Sheamus' face right up his ass! Alright, so we have the kiss my ass in the match, right? Then, Dolph Ziggler gets busted open! And guess what? Now you got his spaghetti looking hair with blood in it. It looked like fucking a plate of spaghetti and marinara sauce. Classic. Sheamus wins with the bro kick. I picked this match right. I was pretty pumped about it because Sheamus should have had the win. It made sense. They finally did something that made sense. Yeah, Grim got it right on that reasoning. Woo. And then we got to talk about 
These nuts. Ha <laughs> ha, got him, got him. <laughs> Apparently New Day is using the whole got him, got him, gotty, gotty, whatever the hell it is from uh, the D's nuts vine. And the New Day are growing on me like motherfuckers. They're actually using the mic to get the heat to piss people off. And then what they do? Then they stepped in the ring and they cashed the checks that their mouths wrote. These guys took a beating. These guys delivered a beating. The only shitty part was that Big E totally sandbagged Cesaro for an epic botch. Pay botch running wild. But then Cesaro comes back with these crazy uppercuts back and forth, back and forth, kicking the fucking shit out of Kofi with the uppercuts. It was like uppercut city over here. It was fantastic. Best two out of three falls match. Everybody thought for a second that Cesaro and Kid won the titles. And they're like, no, 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 it's best two out of three. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. New Day totally comes back, takes the titles, takes the victory. And it was just a fantastic match. Like, if there's any match on the card that I want to go back and rewatch, it's that match. I think that match was my favorite match on the show. Uh, Cena and Rusev was also an excellent match, except for the finish. And the main event was superb quality, again, except for the finish. Hmm. I wonder what asshole backstage is booking these shitty finishes. Because he needs to be talked to. You got guys doing great matches. Shitty finishes. Let me know. What did you guys think of this pay-per-view? I want to know your thoughts. Leave them down in the comments below. And I thank you for watching Old Grim's Review. Please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe for more Grim.